HPD has a warrant out for a woman now charged with murder for this shooting scene on Yorktown that happened months ago. The suspect in this case, the victim's wife. Police say she shot and killed her husband while their two children were in the home. Igochi Iloka joins us live in the newsroom with more. Igochi, he was an up and coming bodybuilder and you spoke with his trainer. Ron and Sherman, I did. His longtime athletic trainer and friend, Christopher Alejandro, tells me 26-year-old Michael Chidozi was fighting for his life on life support before he finally died from his injuries. Now, this sad news of his death, Alejandro says, surprised many in the bodybuilding community because Michael was considered so strong they were hoping he'd pull through. These are pictures Alejandro provided to us of Michael Chidozi. He had migrated to Houston from Nigeria starting a family here before his death. Back in March, investigators say his wife, 28-year-old Kiara Chidozi, allegedly shot Michael several times at their apartment on Yorktown Street. Officials say an argument escalated between the two leading up to the deadly shooting. The couple's two kids, thankfully, were not hurt when shots were fired. Michael's trainer says many organizations in the bodybuilding world came together to remember Michael. You know, when people finally found out that he was gone, what, one thing I absolutely love is that the whole bodybuilding community came together. I mean, like Iron Magazine, um, Bobby Iron Magazine, uh, all the natural federations, like all federations were posting like rest in peace. Yeah, and Alejandro says they even hosted a benefit at his gym at college in College Station to raise money for Michael's two young boys. And the district attorney's office charged Kiara Chidozi with murder after claiming she initially shot, uh, intentionally shot and killed Michael. That's according to them. Now, we checked as of this morning, she hasn't officially been booked into jail yet. Live in the newsroom, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU 11 News. This morning, 